hey guys welcome back to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel it's absolutely free today we're going to do a my two weeks meal plan and to ingredients we have boiled kenyuji chicken minced beef gideri spinach no dania yellow beans spinach onion for our first round i'm making four meals first i'm going to add some vegetable oil to the pot Then I'm going to add the onions to the pot. As I'm editing this video, I think that small sphere should be should have been in front. It's not that visible back there. Some pots I'm going to let the onions turn golden brown and one pot I'm just going to let the onions just saute a little bit that is for the cabbage For my vegetables, I like I like adding salt to the direct to the onion. So that small sphere over there I'm cooking dairy. So I'm going to add my mixture made in heaven that's garlic and ginger paste. Then I'm going to go in with the blended tomatoes, then the then the dairy salt and cover it and let it cook. So this other sphere I'm making the kenyuji stew, the chicken kenyuji stew and to the other pan I'm making spinach
to the pan that I'm making spinach, I'm adding some salt. Then I'm going to add the spinach and let it saute for maybe two minutes. To my stew, I'm adding the garlic ginger paste. Let it cook for maybe a minute. The cabbage I'm going to add the dania and that's it for the cabbage. I know it has overcooked because I was multitasking but it's going to be okay. To the steel I'm adding the blade and tomatoes, then the chicken. That's me over there adding the dessert, that's small sphere.
For the second round, I'm making some minced meat beef stew, fried plenty rice, and some yellow beans, yellow bean stew, and some spaghetti. First step is defrosting the minced meat. Or throwing. Then I've added some vegetable oil to all the pots, waiting for the oil to heat up. Then I'm going to add the onions. I love meal prepping is <coughs> the next two weeks I'm not going to think of what I'm going to cook on a daily basis. It's just going to be warming my food and that's it. It's going to save me time and money. The minced meat is finally defrosted. I'm going to add some salt, paprika, and curry powder to it. Then I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. Then in the same pan, I'm going to rinse it a little bit with some hot water. The reason I'm rinsing it off, I don't want my onions to to be stuck. I don't know if you're getting me. The onion the onions tend to to stick on the pan if you don't rinse the minced meat off. To the bean stew pot, I've added some garlic and ginger paste. I'm going to add the blended tomatoes. To the fried lentil rice, I've added four cups of water because I'm using two cups of rice. To the beef stew, I'm adding the garlic and ginger paste and the blended tomatoes. Then I'm adding some salt to the fried rice. Then I'm adding the washed rice.
this whole process took me about one and a half hours and I can't complain because if you think of cooking for two weeks on a daily basis you lose more more time and, and of course it will be a little bit expensive to the rice also I'm adding the lentils then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer The beans too. I'm adding curry powder, then some hot chili, I love my beans spicy, then some salt because not a lot of salt because the, I had boiled the beans with some salt so I'm just adding a little bit of salt then here I'm adding the yellow beans some water, cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes To the beef stew, I've added the beef. Then I'm going to add some water. Then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. But then after cooking all these meals, I'm not going to put it in the freezer. It's the fridge. But I'm going to adjust the temperature so that the foods can at least freeze so that doesn't go bad maybe after a week. To my minced beef stew, I added some vegetable oil, onions, now I'm adding garlic and ginger paste, let it cook for about 2 minutes. Then I'm going to add the blended tomatoes. The reason I blend my tomatoes is because I don't like the chunky, pot chunky tomatoes in my meal. Then I'm going to add some more curry powder. And of course some salt. Here I was checking if the rice was cooked. By the way, this year I'm celebrating two years in YouTube. And I'm very proud of myself. Of course I've not been consistent, maybe I've missed about some months I post three videos, two videos, 
but mostly I post for videos in a month. So guys, you can support me by subscribing, sharing my content, and liking, and commenting, and let me know which other videos I can do on this channel. The recipes that is. To the means to if I'm adding some hot chili too. My highlight of this week's meal prep was that rice and fried fried rice. What am I saying? Fried lentil rice. It was so sweet. I've never tried it again. I saw the recipe on some Korean YouTuber, and I thought of trying it, and it came out so sweet. To this new pot, I want to boil my spaghetti, so I'm adding some water, a lot of salt, because I'm going to rinse off the spaghetti and I want the salt, at least some salt to remain the spaghetti. At this point, I think the beef stew and the bean stew are ready, I'm just going to add some coriander, and call it a day. The reason I'm cutting the spaghetti is because they can't all fit in the sufria and I don't have time to keep stirring them. Multitasking is a lot of work. the minced beef stew I'm going to add a little bit of some water as we wait for the spaghetti to boil
also hear the spaghetti have boiled, not so cooked but pork tender. So I'm going to drain the water, rinse it, rinse it off, and add it to the minced beef stew. And that's it for this week's video guys. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Like this video, share it. Leave your comments on the comments on the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.